All right, so I have a customer that's looking for a uh, logo design uh, they sent and a couple of sketches that they created themselves. Um, they faxed it to me. Let's see if you, you can see that close up. I had a couple ideas. Obviously, they like this. They like the idea of uh, connecting the letters together. Um, the company name is Lowen Home Inspect. Yeah, Inspection. So they want the capital S, capital H, and the capital I to somehow connect together. Had a couple other ideas. Wanted a phone, a house, um, different text laid out. So I went ahead and did some uh, preliminary uh, thumbnails. Let me go ahead and see if I can show you guys. Let's see here. I don't know if you can see that. A couple of thumbnails. I decided to go with this, this, and that. Can't really tell if you can see it or not. So that's usually what I do. I, I take a couple ideas, um, take some time, think it out, see what works, see what doesn't work, and then go from there. So I went ahead and took these three different logos and put them on paper. I've already pre-sketched them out. So I want to see if you guys are able to see that. Now on the third one, I don't really like how this is on the left hand side. Uh, once I sketch this in, I think I'll go ahead and put that on top once I put it in the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, trace that with a pen and then go from there. Eventually I'm going to go ahead and put color on all of these logos, but first I have to make sure that the composition of the logo itself is right. Um, I'm not really worried about the thicknesses of the letters since I'm gonna do everything in the computer. So eventually I'm gonna put some color in here. I'm probably gonna make this green. A nice neon yellowish greenish. That's gonna be a hill. And then we have the house up here. I took this house uh, from different images, um, different ideas. Everybody else just simply takes a clipboard and slaps a couple of uh, different font text on there and call it a logo. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, but if you really want to impress uh, customers uh, and try to beat your competitor you really want to invest in a custom logo design where thought and creativity go hand in hand and are put together with your company in mind so when a logo is created you want to make sure that the majority of the time stuff is even out space evenly here the composition is good it's balanced pretty well the thickness of the letters the composition the overall shape of the logo needs to be there so all that is very important you don't want text all over the place and couple icons here and there because there is no composition if you do that the eye gets lost um, and it does not look like you really thought about the design typically for a corporate uh, logo you want to use fonts that are bold uh, fonts that do not have uh, serifs and if you do not know what a serif is it is a little 
uh, like a little extra flare that comes out through each letter so for example something like that something here normally uh, Times New Roman if you're familiar with a PC you know that that's a serif font non serif would be an Arial or like a Helvetica so depends on um, the type of business that uh, you are trying to present so I'm going to go through this one real quick. Now I'm not worried about being perfect here because this is just a sketch that is going to be presented to the client. And once they decide what works well for them, I'm going to go ahead and scan this in the computer and retrace my work in Illustrator which is an industry standard for vector graphics and is what the majority of graphic designers use. Some other designers prefer Corel Draw as long as they're able to export the uh, final product as an EPS or a PDF so other designers can work with it um, and when I mean other designers maybe you'll have someone else that designs the brochure maybe someone else designs your website maybe someone else prints your promo t-shirts so each of those persons have to have a workable file format to be able to reproduce your logo correctly if your logo is created in a JPEG, uh, something like in Photoshop or anything like that, then you're really going to have a hard time in the future with promotions. Uh, Photoshop files such as JPEGs, uh, PSDs, and other bitmap format tend to not maintain clarity when you have to resize your logo and therefore uh, making your logo look a little fuzzy not as clear and the person who's reproducing your logo will have a hard time and the end result will be something that you probably will not like um, this is why this is very important that you pay someone to do your logo design. The reason why I make this larger than home inspection is because I want them to remember this particular company as Sloan. And then what do they do? Home inspection. I don't want them to remember Sloan home inspection. It is just way too long. You know, people don't want to spend the time to remember that. The first thing you want to do is hit them with your name, Sloan Home Inspection, or whether it'll be Mark Home Inspection, or you know GMF Home Inspection. So more compact is better uh, for the client to remember. It's more visually pleasant as well. Um, this way, you tell them that Sloan is who is the company. And what do they do? They do home inspection. So this is it for now. I'm going to go ahead and scan this, email to the customer, and then find out from them which of these they want to go with. Um, and then put it in the computer, scan it, retrace it, color it, and then go from there. Um, usually the customer has uh, two or three different changes. Uh, I usually make those changes for free. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and email this to them get some feedback and then make some changes.